Hello. I just want to prove to you that they used to be a series. Look. I've got the magazines here. Let's see, number one, Julian Scorpion. And look what it says on the back. Issue two. Emerald Beetle, the brilliant Emerald Beetle. And the other one, the same, the Nigerian Scorpion, issue one, but issue two was the Devil Spider. And that's here. So they, they do come out with the same books, but just in a different order. So I just want to prove to you that. Okay then, now to get on with what I'm doing. I'm going to show you issue number 5, 6, 7 and 8. I've figured out what they are by looking at... My whole room is just completely covered in all of these magazines. Um, I just want to show you magazine 1, magazine 2, Magazine 2. Mm. Mag magazine 1. Magazine 2. Um. I can't not seem to find it. See how old that is by all rips and everything. Right, today I'm going to do issue 5, issue 6, issue 7. Issue eight. Yeah. So issue five, six, seven, and eight. Sorry about all that before. Wasted three or four minutes now. No. Let's see what we've got. Issue five. Rhinoceros beetle. Okay, let me show you. That is right here. Right. Put all this out the way. Put that back. Put piece of paper. And uh there it is. The rhinoceros beetle. I see why it's called that. Very big. This is the female rhinoceros beetle. And oh, wait there. Mix up. 
sorry. There has been a, a mix up. This is what we're looking at. Sorry, they look a bit the same. Rhinoceros beetle, unicorn beetle. It looked the same in the magazine, so that is what we're looking at. These are real. And it says the unicorn beetle is also known as the princess rhinoceros beetle. It's a warrior like insect. The male has powerful horns on the front of its body that act as giant pincers for grabbing rivals. Ooh. Looks nice. You can see why, uh, why they grab people with it. You know, everything. It's very, very nice. Put him over there. And have a quick look through the magazine. One, page two, page four. Oh my god, that's still in there. And it shows you what's next. What is next? It is the centipede. I've got the centipede here. Yes, this centipede comes of the box. Yes, it comes with the box. This huge mess of box. And it's got a name. It's called the Ash, Ash Attack Giant Centipede. And its last name is Tropodrover Subspenides. Sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. It says, both the appearance of the size of this centipede makes it a predator of a huge variety of insects and other invertebrates, some of which can be quite large. Looks very nice, and this is the box. You can fit all of these in it without getting them stuck. Because they've learnt from their mistakes and look what they've done. There's like, if you can't see it, there's like lines there, so it, there's a little space in between them. I only have four of the giant ones. And that's the big box. But that's up there. Right, now I'll show you the book. This is it. Some people I can see it goes root down there. Mine is in perfect shape. It's got lots and lots of legs. I've not really decided to count it. I think I have counted before. Um, I can't remember. Is that quite flat actually? And that shows you what is next, and what is next is the field grasshopper. Mine looks nothing like it in the picture. That's the picture. This is mine. From one of the sides, it looks all right. From that side, it looks all right. Good condition, but when you put it from that side, 
Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah. I'm not really going to go into much detail on that. Uh, so there's field grasshoppers, hopping mad. Uh, they sometimes do jokes like that, hopping mad. First page. Second page. Third page. Fourth page. Fifth page. Sixth page. Seventh page and the last page. And it shows you what is next. But I forgot to say this is the brown grasshopper or Archidiide. Sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. There's grasshoppers from the Archidiide family to which locusts also belong are real eating machines. A task to which the most desiccate Dedicate for most of their lives. This very ver this variety occasionally causes some of these species have become archaeological plagues. Yeah. Nice. What is next? It is the stinky shield bug. It says here. You might find these in your garden, but this is a brown one. So mine looks a bit like it does in the picture. Just quickly scout for it in my book box here. Well, it's not really a box here, but. Aha, right at the back. I'll show you this mess in here. You see? The, you've got longer antennas, and I've got shorter antennas. Put that up there. Nice small about not big small lovely amazing. Let me read its contents. Oh yes, sadly I don't know where the magazine for this is, so I can't. Right, moving on. Well, I'm. This is it, I'm afraid. I'm going to show you my little bug area here, which I set up. Right, they're just placed here. This shield bug here was right at the back over there. Yeah, all that all on it. I might put them in there actually. They've got boxes of their own. I guess I really don't need to. I'll just put them on the Next we've got issue nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And if you're wondering what that is, it will be Alright, goodbye and I'll try and fit that in in a few moments time. Goodbye, peace out, rate, comment, subscribe, see ya.